You can have everything in life you want if you will just help other people get what they want. Zig Ziglar. Everyone likes a good story with beautiful characters, heroes, and an inspiring message. You can use inexpensive tools to share such stories with millions. If we could only afford to pay three staff, one of them would be dedicated to producing video. That's how important video is to our success. Big Cat Rescue has attracted more than 67 million views on our YouTube channel, BigCatTV.com, as of October 14, 2013, by watching for trends and capitalizing on what people are already searching for, like the Harlem Shake. We also listen to what people ask us the most, such as, do big cats like to play with boxes? When you're answering a question that people want to know, the media picks up on it, and that results in even more views. The question we always get from tour guests and from people who watch our videos is, do big cats like catnip? Well, there's only one way to find out. I know domestic cats like to chase laser pointers, right Jack? But what about big cats? Well, let's find out. Providing great videos, we were asked to join Discovery's new platform called Animalist. You can apply on their YouTube page too. Our ad revenues doubled from about $12,000 a year to $25,000 a year just by joining their network. No one knows how great your sanctuary is or how well adjusted or healthy your cats are unless you show them. It doesn't take much money or talent to do it. This video was shot on a smartphone, edited on software that came free on the computer, and posted to YouTube where it airs for free. Don't forget to make the ask. Make it personal so that people fall in love with the characters in your story, the cats. When they do, they will donate to help them. 
One of our largest donors, who gives more than $20,000 a year, saw us on TV and sent a $10,000 check before they ever even visited. Now they donate regularly. If there's anything that the public loves, it's a rescue story. So show your rescues. Unfortunately, when they were unloading the last tiger from the trailer, the transport cage dropped, damaging a wheel and adding to the stress level of the cats. So once everything was in place, we began to load the tigers as soon as possible into the cool, dark trailer. We loaded Arthur first and strapped the transport cage in place. Andre was next and he loaded really well. But the female, Amanda, was very upset about the move and showed us yet again why these animals do not belong in backyards as so-called pets. Don't be afraid to invite your visitors right into the hospital room with you. They love these cats and they want to see what goes on behind the scenes. The tumors were removed and the surgery was a success. We invite our supporters to help watch the cats on Ustream in the hospital. This has resulted in more than a quarter of a million views. Be sure to take them with you on the release as well. Split open the doors. We also have kitten cams on our foster kittens, and people fall in love with these cats via the webcam. So while Rufus is eating his breakfast, We have to clean up the mess he's made. All of the fun stuff that we post is to build an audience for the important stuff. We use videos for training our staff and volunteers. We do a weekly show called Cat Chat, where I interview experts in the cat world. We also use video to talk about the important issues such as fur farms and the circus. They were even billed separately, as in the phrase, museum, menagerie, and circus. It would not be long, however, until audiences needed something more than to just look at animals in cages. After all, they could do that in a zoo. How many of us really take the time to consider what training a wild animal really means? The manner of training is really only just one small part of the issue. In the world of entertainment, where an act either brings in the money or ships out, the animals involved are simply a commodity, an investment, a thing to be used today and discarded tomorrow. My name's Tony, and I'm a pet tiger. I was born here in America, although I'm not sure exactly where, or actually when. I remember I could feel my brothers and sisters lying next to me and I could smell my mom nearby. But then, we were taken away from her and I never got to see my mom. The ultimate result is to get people to take action. All of the work that goes into creating video and interacting with our social networks is worth it if we can count on people to return the favor by speaking up for the cats. I created this video for $35 on Fiverr.com. Love big cats? Me too. Please take three steps to saving big cats and their cubs. First, tell the USDA there's no reason to allow public contact between big cats and their cubs. Second, tell Congress that big cats should not be kept as pets or used as photo and petting props. And third, Ask the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service why they haven't rescinded the generic tiger loophole yet. Just go to BigCatBan.com. The result of engaging with our viewers is that even though Big Cat Rescue is one of the smallest partners in the Big Cat Coalition, we were able to generate half of the public comments that went to USDA to stop cup handling. Spend a little time up front and your videos will be working for you for years. For this talk today, I'd have to spend the same amount of time to deliver it once or to turn it into a video that will be seen thousands of times. Time is something that sanctuarians don't have much of, so we need to use it effectively. Media works for us and it can work for you.